Hello collectors, welcome back to another video from Sports Cards and Zards. Uh, today we got a big mail day. Um, ordered a bunch of stuff off of eBay. Uh, there's no theme to this video, just a bunch of random Pokemon cards that caught my eye. And uh, I'll go ahead and rip these open and then uh, show you guys what I got. Uh, let's start off with this cute little letter here it's, you know it's it seems to be protective enough for the cards all right so i just got one card in a top loader and it's the ooh this e-series mawile reverse hollow uh and all these cards you know I, I don't i don't really spend too much money on on eBay, so if I got it off of eBay, you know, I got a pretty good deal, and uh, the card seems to be in pretty good condition. Um, I don't like the scotch tape on here, but um, he did put the, he did put it in upside down, so I guess it's not, no way of touching the card, but um, yeah, if you guys are shipping anything through the mail, um, just be careful with scotch tape, it, you know, it leaves a lot of adhesive on the top loaders, kind of ruins them, and there's a chance that adhesive can get on the card, so um, be careful of that, but this seems to be, this seems to be okay. Pikachu fell down. Yeah, so in the back we got just a few of our favorite cards that we pulled. All right, oh, so this one is packaged much nicer. You know, it's got some cardboard in the team bag. And let's see what we got. Nice, just the Hidden Fates Charizard uh, from the, the tins. Um, I think I paid a couple bucks for this. Um, I did. I did a. Uh, order something else with it. I'm surprised they didn't combine the shipping. They combined it on the eBay order itself. Alright, another one nicely packaged. Um, we do have this packaging tape though, which again makes me nervous. But um, it seems to be protected in the top loaders okay. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, so this is this was my big purchase. You know, I said I don't spend a lot on eBay, but uh, this lot, I definitely, definitely spent more than uh, my budget would suggest I spend on it. So again, if uh, yeah, if you guys are shipping anything card related, you know, packaging tape, scotch tape, they all, you know, give us a collector's nightmare. So just be wary of that. You know, a good tape to use is a painter's tape, you know, or frog tape. Won't leave any residue, and uh, your card should be, you know, nice and safe. Right, so these were these are from different listings from the same the same eBayer, and she was nice enough to combine the shipping for me. Um, so let's start off with it should be yeah. So this is a Neo Genesis Japanese Cyndaquil Quilava and Typhlosion. Nice set here, and this Typhlosion has a beautiful swirl right there. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. But yeah, um, I really like Japanese vintage cards. You know, I'm starting to, you know, that's what I'm looking out for on eBay these days. But, um, you know, you'll see some English cards here that, you know, if I get a good deal on it, you know, I can't pass it up. Uh, first edition Neo Genesis Azumarill. Uh, this seems to be in really great shape. You know, one nick up here. Centering is a little top heavy, but... Um, if you if you watch any of the videos before, I don't I don't care too much about centering. I just know that PSA and BGS really care about it. But um, if I'm buying a card for my personal collection, you know that centering is not uh, appalling to me at all. And this was the big purchase. Um, you know, it's more than more than I like to spend on 
on the cards on eBay, but you know, these are all first edition hollows and you know, from what the pictures showed, the cards are in really great shape. You know, the worst being the Vaporeon, but I think we know how uh how tough that hollow is to stay in good shape. But um from what I see, these cards look great. Um, you know, again centering a little top heavy on this Jolteon. But, you know, first edition evolutions you know the first first set of evolutions that were printed by pokemon you know it's a uh, you're not going to see deals on these very often so you know i jumped on it while i could probably going to still send them all off to get graded even though i know you know eight or nine is is basically the best i'm hoping for but you know gotta love the evolutions all right well I'm sure it's all downhill from there since that was the big purchase, but let's see what else we got. Uh, more, more packing tape. Okay. Let's be careful here. Okay. <laughs> oh, it looks like it might be in this uh, paper here. Yeah, again, guys, if you guys uh, are going to be shipping cards, you know, maybe I'm assuming these people aren't collectors. They just, you know, maybe bought some from a, from a garage sale or something and shipped it out. But, um, yeah, we want to avoid the packing tape and the scotch tape. All right, at least they did a nice job with the paper, you know, protecting the card from the tape. So, um, nice full art Garchomp Giratina here. Um, we do love our full arts on this channel. You know, just something about that texture and, you know, the, the alternate art form really, really speaks to us. But, um, yeah, I got this for a really good deal, I'm sure. Um, you know, a couple bucks plus shipping. But, yeah, another full art there. Okay. These are... Secured in a nice little plain white envelope. Oh, that's right. Now I remember. Yeah, first edition Aerodactyl. Um, I think this is a really underrated and undervalued card right now. Um, we got some whitening here on the bottom. But still a first edition. You know, even the hollow through the, the top loader looks like it's in really good shape. So um, I'm guessing, you know, at worst the PSA 8, all because of that bottom right there, that edge. But, oh, and one little nick up here on the top. But still, um, I got a really good deal on this. Um, I don't have any of the first editions from my old collection. I don't know where they went. But, uh, you know, taking, taking 15, 20 years off of, from the hobby really uh, <laughs> makes you misplace some things. So, you know, if it's, if it's in my parents' garage somewhere, you know, maybe that'll be a great, <laughs> great day when I find those. But uh, for now, I got to just scour ebay looking for some deals on some old first edition cards so this is a great great hollow there i think i have one package left and it's a uh, it's thick but... all right let's see what this is a lot of uh bubble wrap Out of bubble wrap. Okay. All right. Looks like. Uh, oh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now I remember this purchase. <laughs> so I guess it's not completely downhill, but um, I did say that I like my my vintage Japanese cards, and everybody likes a good Charizard card. So I think this was a nice. Little pick up here. Don't like the packaging tape, but um, they're doing a nice pack of energies, so that's that's nice, you know, for people that that play the game, you know, instead of just collecting them, you know, it's always good to have some energies. Um, yeah, Blaine's Charizard. 
from uh, Jim, Jim Challenge. I think it was Jim Challenge this one came from, but uh, yeah, I don't like this packaging tape. Anyway, again, beautiful card in a beautiful condition. You know, maybe a little nick on the edge there, a nick on this corner here. But uh, centering seems great, which should be good. Oh, Nick on the top corner here. Um, and a beautiful little swirl there, right, right by the flame. That's a good position for it, too. All right, let's do a quick recap. First edition, Aerodactyl. Garchomp Giratina Full Art. Tape Galore. First edition, Flareon Hollow. In great shape. First edition, Jolteon. Also in great shape. First edition Vaporeon in decent shape. Oh, I love that hollow pattern, how it's how it's kind of three-dimensional. Yeah, it's just beautiful. First edition Azumarill. Another nice swirl there. The Typhlosion line, or the Syndical line. Japanese from uh, Neo Genesis. Promo Charizard, Reverse Mawile, and then the king himself, Blaine's Charizard. All right, if you guys enjoyed the video, um, we'll do more of these mail days, you know, whenever they come. And uh, just please like and subscribe. Thanks.